Let us understand radioactivity. Radioactivity is a nuclear phenomena in which an unstable nucleus undergoes decay. This is referred to as radioactive decay. Three types of radioactive decay occur in nature. Alpha decay in which a helium nucleus 4He2 emitted. In alpha decay, an alpha particle composed of two protons and two neutrons is emitted from the nucleus. This ultimately changes the uranium-238 into thorium-234. Beta decay in which electrons or positrons, that is particles with the same mass as electrons but with a charge exactly opposite to that of electron are emitted. Here we have a carbon-14 nucleus about to undergo beta decay. This thing has to be gradually enlarged in size. In beta decay, a neutron from an atom will split into one positively charged proton and a negatively charged electron. Neutron gets transformed into proton and electron emitted moves away from the atom. Size of the carbon-14 nucleus gradually decreases. This changes the atom. Where we once had carbon-14, we now have nitrogen-14 nucleus. Gamma decay, in which high energy 100 of kilo electron volt or more photons are emitted. Alpha and beta decay are almost always accompanied by gamma decay. In gamma decay, energy in the form of gamma radiation or rays is emitted from the nucleus. Gamma rays are electromagnetic waves with very high frequencies and energy. Gamma rays are identical to X-rays, except that X-rays are artificially produced and gamma rays are naturally occurring. One thing to keep in mind that both X-rays and gamma rays are dangerous to life. First take the case of alpha decay in which a helium nucleus 4He2 is emitted. In alpha decay, an alpha particle composed of two protons and two neutrons is emitted from the nucleus. This ultimately changes the uranium-238 into thorium-234. During the conversion of gamma decay also takes place shown below. Now let us study beta decay in which electrons or positrons that is particles with the same mass as electrons but with a charge exactly opposite to that of electron are emitted. During the conversion of gamma decay also takes place shown below. In beta decay, a neutron from an atom will split into one positively charged proton and a negatively charged electron. Let us learn more about radioactivity. Properties of alpha decay In alpha decay, it is observed that since 4He2 contains two protons and two neutrons, the mass number and the atomic number of the daughter nucleus decreases by 4 and 2 respectively. Thus, the transformation of a nucleus AXZ into a nucleus a minus 4yz minus 2 can be expressed as axz goes to a minus 4yz minus 2 plus 4he2 where a x properties of beta decay in beta minus decay a neutron transforms into a proton within the nucleus according to neutrons goes to proton no more the symbols V bar and V represent anti neutrino and neutrino respectively. Both are neutral particles with very little or no mass. These particles are emitted from the nucleus along with the electron or positron during the decay process. Neutrinos interact only very weakly with matter. They can even penetrate the earth without being absorbed. It is for this reason that their detection is extremely difficult 
and their presence went unnoticed for long. The mass number A of a nuclide undergoing beta decay does not change. Like alpha decay, this is a spontaneous process with a definite disintegration energy and half-life. Properties of Gamma Decay The daughter nucleus of most radionuclide after an alpha decay or beta decay is left in an excited state. It reaches the ground state by a single transition or sometimes by successive transitions by emitting one or more gamma rays. Energy level diagram shows the emission of gamma rays by a 60 cobalt 27 nucleus subsequent to beta decay. There are energy levels in a nucleus, just like there are energy levels in atoms. When a nucleus is in an excited state, it can make a transition to a lower energy state by the emission of electromagnetic radiation. As the energy differences between the levels in a nucleus are of the order of mega electron volt, the photons emitted by the nuclei have mega electron volt energies and are called gamma rays. In this animation, it is shown how an alpha decay of uranium 238 nucleus takes place. In this animation, it is shown how a beta decay of thorium 234 takes place to convert itself into palladium 234 and how the gamma decay took place. In this animation, it is shown how the beta decay of neutrons takes place breaking itself into an electron, a proton and anti-neutrino. Comparison of electrical behavior of alpha, beta and gamma decays. Alpha rays bend towards anode. Beta rays bend towards cathode. Gamma rays don't bend towards any electrode. Thus we can conclude that alpha rays are positively charged, beta rays are negatively charged and gamma rays are electrically neutral. Effect of an electric field on alpha, beta and gamma radiation. Law of Radioactive Decay In any radioactive sample which undergoes alpha, beta or gamma decay, it is found that the number of nuclei undergoing the decay per unit time is proportional to the total number of nuclei in the sample. If n is the number of nuclei in the sample and delta n undergo decay in time delta t, then delta n by delta t equals lambda into n, where lambda is called the radioactive constant or disintegration constant. We can measure the number of emissions of alpha, beta or gamma particles in a given time interval, say 10 seconds or 20 seconds. Let us know more. The change in the number of nuclei in the sample is dn equals to minus delta n in time delta t. Thus, the rate of change of n is in the limit delta t tending to 0. dn by dt equals to minus lambda n or dn equals to minus lambda into dt. Now, integrating both sides of the above equation, we get integral n naught to n dn by n equals lambda into integral t naught to t dt or ln n minus ln n naught equals lambda into t minus t naught. Setting t0 equals to 0. We get n t equals to n0 e raised to the power. The total decay rate R of a sample of one or more radionuclide is called the activity of that sample. The SI unit for activity is Becquerel, named after the discoverer of radioactivity, Henry Becquerel. It is defined as 1 Becquerel equals to 1 BQ equals to 1 DK per second. Mean lifetime is the time 
at which Law both of and radio and R decay have been reduced in any radioactive e sample power which minus undergoes one of their initial beta values or gamma half decay time measure it is found t that the number of the nuclei at which both undergoing and the decay have been reduced time to one half to the total values. number of nuclei in the sample if n is the number of nuclei in the sample and delta n undergo decay in time delta t then delta n by delta t equals lambda into n where lambda is called the radioactive constant or disintegration constant we can measure the number of emissions of alpha beta or gamma particles in a given time interval say 10 seconds or 20 seconds